This video introduces how to specify the stack size with CCRL compiler and eSquare Studio. This video is divided into three parts. First, about how the stack area is formed. If device option is specified for the linker, it finds a consecutive unused area in the RAM based on the information in the device file and generates the following two symbols. Stack address start points to the maximum address of the area plus one. Stack address end points to the minimum address of the area. By using these symbols, the stack pointer is set to the initial value and the stack area is initialized in the startup routine. This will make the consecutive area that linker finds to be the stack area. Next, about how to check the size and address of the stack area. From Project, select CC++ Project Settings. From Tool Settings tab, select Common, Device, and make sure Use Device File is checked. If it is checked, device option will be specified for the linker. Next, select linker, list. Make sure output link map file or library list file is checked. Also, check output symbol information. Select apply and close. Build the project. After the build, select Renesis views, CC++, Memory Usage Switch to the Symbol tab and see the address of Stack Address Start and Stack Address End. The area between these two addresses is set as the stack area. In this example, the stack size is 1822 bytes, which is the difference between these two addresses. The previous parts were about the stack area that is automatically formed. This part explains how users can specify the stack size. To specify the stack size, edit the startup routine. The startup routine is automatically generated in the folder generate as the file cstart.asm. cstart.asm has a condition statement that defines the stack area for compatibility with the old version. You can use it. Editing the startup routine is done in the following three steps. First, define a section for the stack area. Enable the definition of the section .stack BSS which is disabled. At this time, the definitions of the symbols pointing to the start and end addresses of the section are also enabled. You can rename these symbols. Also. Change the value according to the stack size you want to allocate. For example, if you write 0x300, an area of 300 bytes in hexadecimal will be allocated. This is 768 bytes in decimal. Note that the stack size must be an even number. Then, set the stack pointer to an initial value. Enable the instruction to set the stack pointer to the value of stack top. Similarly, enable the instruction to set the register AX to the value of stack end. In the function stack init, the area between the addresses pointed by register SP and AX is initialized as the stack area. Editing cstart.asm is now completed. Finally, about how to lay out the stack area. You can lay out the stack area automatically or manually. The settings for layout can be made from Project, CC++ Project Settings, Linker, Section. If you want to lay out the sections automatically, check Layout Sections Automatically. If you want to lay out the sections manually, uncheck it and select the button on the right to specify the address. Here, the start address of section .stack BSS is set to address FF800. 
Let's take a look at the new stack area. Build the project. Select Memory Usage. From the Section tab, you can see the address and size of the section for the stack area. If the name of the section is .stackbss, then its group will be stack and you can also see the stack size from the size pane. Note that the linker will still generate the old symbols for the stack area after the steps so far, however, please ignore them because they do not point to the actual stack area. Congratulations! Now the stack area of RL78 will be exactly what you want.